Hello, back once again with this fancy booking series. Uh, the invasion angle. We're going to continue on, and as it was announced last time I was doing this, that uh, that the WCW crew has earned the right to 50% of WWE's pay-per-views for the rest of the year. And we're going to start this off with a Sunday night heat match, of course. Uh, Jerry Lynn versus S.A. Rios. Jerry Lynn, of course, gets the win because this would be for the light heavyweight title. And then we go into the show, which is Spring Stampede. Uh, we obviously have a lot of promotion going into, into this, uh, saying WCW's back on pay-per-view. Uh, of course, it's actually WWE programming, but okay. And we kick things off with the WCW Cruiserweight Tag Team title match. Which is Billy Kidman and Rey Mysterio, the Kilty Animals, taking on Kai and Tai Funaki and Takamichi Noku, who have made the jump to WCW. And of course, Billy Kidman and Rey Mysterio get the win here. But again, I'd have Kai and Tai look strong in defeat. That then we go on to the cruiserweight title match, which is Shane Helms. Taking on Chavo Guerrero in a rematch from the last WCW show. And of course Shane gets the, the win here. Okay. Uh, WCW re uh, heavyweight tag team title match. Uh, Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare versus Mike Sanders and the Disco Inferno. Uh, Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare get the win. Now that Mike Sanders and Disco Inferno tag team will have just been a quick throw together tag team. Uh, they would have won one or two matches before they're getting the number one contendership. Uh, then we go on to the US title match. Shane Douglas, who is the US champion, taking on Dustin Rhodes, and Dustin Rhodes gets the win here. US champion. Okay, in a tag team grudge match, DDP and Perry Satin take on Raven and Stephen Richards and uh, DDP would be doing most of the work in this one and then he'd go for the tag and Satin would have hit 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 DDP then in jumps the other two guys beating up on DDP Raven gets the pin one two three and that's it, guys. Uh, then uh, another match. Uh, Taz versus Bam Bam, Bam Bigelow. Triple H would, uh, during this match, Triple H would come out from the crowd. And he tries to attack Bam Bam from behind. Uh, but it is unsuccessful when Taz ends up helping him out. So the two of them beat back Triple H. And, of course, they'd, they'd look, but after Triple H gets out of the ring, they'd be face-to-face -face again and be staring each other down. Uh, Lance Storm versus Mike Awesome. Uh, awesome would uh, get the win here with the Awesome Bomb because I, I'd actually try and promote him to further up in the card, and that would be the first thing to do. Uh, then we go on our Triple Threat main event: Booker T versus Vampiro versus Jeff Jarrett. Booker T gets the win. But after the match, he's celebrating in the ring. Crowd's going nuts. From behind, you see this blonde guy with a steel pot. <laughs> Wax. Uh, Booker T in the back. One, and then he's stomping away at him. It's revealed to be Scott Steiner making his return. Okay, then we move on to Raw. Uh, I might throw in a, uh, I don't, don't think there'd be any much of promos or anything in this one, because this would be, like, a, uh, what the, SmackDown used to do when the Raw pay-per-views would be on there, they'd promote their own, like, mega card for the following week's SmackDown for after the pay-per-view, uh, but in this we'd have a light heavyweight title match. Jerry Lynn versus Spike Dudley. Of course, Lynn gets the win again. Then we'd have uh, in a 
grudge match again. Uh, I'll continue on the, this rivalry after WrestleMania as well. Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle. Uh, I'd have Angle get the win. Uh, number one contenders match for the tag team titles. Edge and Christian versus the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff. X-Factor, X-Pac and Just Incredible. And Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray and Diva on Dudley. The Dudleys get the win. Uh, this would be a one fall to a finish. Uh, no elimination rules in this one. Uh, Intercontinental Championship and uh, most of the title reigns will we'll continue on as much as they were. Triple H is is the current Intercontinental Champion. He would have beat uh, yeah, Chris Jericho a while back there. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember what happened with that. Uh, Kane, Kane wins, but uh, this would also be the same time that Triple H tears his quad, so somehow that happens during this match, and he's done. Uh, then we go on to our mega main event, Undertaker vs. Austin for the WWF title. Austin gets the win. Okay, people, now we're moving on to Nitro. And we'd have Jeff Jarrett cut this uh, promo. And it goes something like this. Jeff Jarrett would come out, and he would say, He's the ch uh, I'm the chosen one. And last night was just a bump in the road, and I will be WCW champion again. And then, of course, Ben Pyro comes out and says, He was screwed last night, and he will be the champion. And for the first time before... He becomes champion again. Okay, and then Eric Bischoff comes out and says, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, guys. We will settle this tonight. Neither one of you will be challenging for the, the title anytime soon. For the next challenger will be decided in a one-on-one -on -one match between Scott Steiner and Mike Awesome. And Jeff Jarrett and, uh, and Vampiro will have to learn to get along because they're taking on Dustin Rhodes and Booker T that night. Okay, then we go into our cruiserweight title match. Shane Helms taking on Tucker Michinoku with Funaki in the corner, but uh, despite distractions by Funaki, Helms gets the win. Uh, then we go into uh, Mark Jindrak uh, taking on Sha Sean Stasiak with Stacy Keebler in his corner. Of course, Stacy Keebler makes her some sort of distraction and uh, wheeling and butted. Uh, Mark Jindrak or something, something something along those lines and Sean Stasiak's able to hit his neck breaker or whatever it was he was using at the time I think it was he was using a Hangman's Hank neck break but yeah uh, then we go on to Conan versus Lance Storm uh, I went back and forth on this one Lance Storm gets the win because I want to try and build him up too then we go on a six man tag Raven, Stephen Richards and Perry Satin taking on Dean DDP, and the Mama Luke's Big Vito and Johnny the Bull Stamboli. Uh, Raven, uh, and that managed to get the win. After uh, that, though, they grab some chairs and start taking out all uh, the Mama Luke's and DDP. Then out of nowhere, run, also run down with a chair or, or some other sort of weapon, I think. Uh, but you know, Some sort of weapon. More, let's say it's a chair comes down canyon and of course then we go hit the the announcers talking about uh the history between ddp and canyon over the last year that they they've been at odds they haven't been getting along and what the heck's going on here uh then we go on to dustin rhodes and jeff jarrett uh, uh dustin rhodes and booker t taking on jeff jarrett and vampiro uh, in this situation, I would have to say that Jeff Jarrett manages to get the pin on Dustin Rhodes uh, while Vampiro is fighting D D uh, Booker T in the, in the crowd. Then we move uh, in the outside the ring area, not in the crowd. N Number one contenders match, Mike Awesome taking on Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner manages to get the win with the Steiner recliner. And, yeah, that was pretty obvious, but, yeah. 
that's it guys thanks for listening stay tuned i uh, i managed to put my last lot of wcw 98 into a playlist today so please check that out if you haven't uh please subscribe uh leave comments below try and be nice but if you can't uh can't be nice try not to say anything at all thank you bye